actually in the middle of Crooks Strait. Fog then, horns blaring. How are you feeling? Good. Good, that's good. Uh, the idea came a good few years ago um, when I decided to swim uh, the river Dniester because of the conflict, you know. After I swam Dniester, uh, I got a phone call from Steve Monatons, the president of the Old Open Water Swimming Association. And he told me that the swim that I did in Moldova was very unique and if I ever thought to go international. And I said, I could go international, only if I can go with my own message of peace. Again, kindness and love. Numărul oamenilor care au cucerit muntele Everest a depășit mult cifra de 4800. Însă, Ion Lazarenco Teron este a optul om pe glob care a reușit să cucerească cele șapte strâmbtori ale lumii, astfel el devenind unul dintr-un miliard de pe glob care i-a reușit să facă acest lucru. So in every corner of the globe I went, I, I was very welcomed. People were very kind towards what I was doing. I will never forget the moments, you know, in Japan, for example, in Hawaii, you know, how people welcomed me and, and uh, New Zealand was incredible. Uh, people reacting to my message. The most incredible was uh, on the river Dniestra, I'll never forget that old man when he went on his knees, you know, and, and told me that he cannot cross into the other side to see his grave, the graves of his parents and that he'll take the message of peace and what I'm doing for this country, he said, he'll take it with him to the grave. And I, I you know, it put tears in my eyes. Oh, look at people see only the success and people see only the, the as, as we call it, the edge of the iceberg, you know? So Let's greasy. do this, please. Yeah. You get so many challenges, including, as you know, the, the, the hypothermia is the biggest killer. Jellyfish, the, the cold, the mammals that you meet, the, the, the sharks, the everything. Waves, currents, weather, so many things that could go wrong. team is there more mentally to support you. Come, you want it? But yeah, if something goes wrong, I mean, what can they do? Like, you know, when I was swimming in Catalina Channel and the, the white shark came along, I, I was thinking, okay, she's so big. You know, she's bigger than the boat. Like, like what can they do? You know, if she wants to come and, and bite me or whatever, and she can do it. But you know, I, I try to stay calm and, and, and continue my swim, don't panic. It's a lot of dedication to, because for example, at the last two swims, we had to borrow money uh, from the bank and, and do the swims. But I, I, I did that because I had a great family who understood what I have to do. And they always very supportive, but it's, it's, it's very, very difficult for them when, especially when I'm in at large. When I'm in at large in the, in the middle of the ocean and, and, and you're swimming at night 12 hours and, you know, like for example in Molokai, I swam 18 and a half, 18 hours and 11 minutes, from which 12 were in the dark. Um, that was very, very difficult, you know, very difficult because the, the, it was like over 8 meters waves. You know, I could stay in Ireland and, and have a comfortable life. I decided to, to dedicate it because, I, as I said, it's painful for me to watch how we live, how we treat each other. We should be more kind to each other and, and, and get back to our basic, basic things, what we, you know, what we should do in this planet, you know. We, we, we came here to give love to each other and, and, and share these peaceful, beautiful moments. We, we, I don't know why we're fighting over religions, over the skin color, over borders. Blue planet that stays in the middle of this space and we should enjoy it because the planet will be here forever. We won't be here. <laughs>